All right, a little change of plans here. We have missing parts. Isn't that always the case? Oh, here. Take out some old time plug. Oh, yeah. Look at here. I need a little bucket CB2. So I'm gonna have water in this trap here, okay? Both coming out. We're gonna put the disposal on the little sink chop. Oh yeah, oh, I just broke. Alright. Thread just broke on that. Chuck B. Hold on. Get out. Little soup. Christmas party. Thank you, sir. Green right. plumbers out there, including yourself. CB2 and all you plumbing apprentices out there. First disposal coming up. What you gotta do is this. We gotta putty this unit up. So, this is an incinerator. So we gotta undo all these screws. And this is key because this is actually a nice unit. See this ring? Yeah. That holds everything on. So when you put the faucet on, you putty this up, put it through, loose, and then snap this on, then tighten the screws down. And we'll show you that when we putty it up. CB2, putty her up. Little incinerator action CB. Do a nice little V around there, okay? Nothing crazy. And then when you do this, Chuck, you always keep this loose, like just how you took it off. Yeah. It's easiest to put the clamp on. All right. I'm positive. The box is already open, so you know if, if we if we find it, we can take it back to them. Oh, dude, it happens all the time. I'm not surprised. Because Phil, Phil's a good man. He's a good man. Hey, listen. Look at him now. That scrubber, there you go. Because what happens when you put a new piece in, you try to get the old stuff out and make it look nicey nice. Alright? Tell you what, give me a little sandpaper out of my bag. That's a little. That could be a. That could be a leak. Potential leak. I'm just. I'm just standing on the inside where the putty goes. All right. This thing's pretty old. All right. There we go. It'll work. I'm gonna get shirts made. It'll work. What do you think? Now. Huh? It's pretty. Here we go. CB2 puttied up, sinkerator. All right. We always like the, the letters to face down so we can read them. Thank you, sir. Hold down on that, Chucky. I'm gonna tighten them all evenly, all right? Is the letters facing straight up, up and down? And just go around and evenly do this up, boom.
apprentice lesson of the day. You ready? All you apprentices, all you apprentices out there, right here is a dishwasher drain connection. We do have a, a dishwasher, but we don't have no dishwasher drain connection underneath this sink, so we will leave this plug. There's a plug in there that you bang out with a hammer if you hook up a drain. So in this case, we're going to not bang it out. Because if you hook a dishwasher up, Chuck B, what happens if that plug's still in there? <laughs> see me, you're not paying attention. I can see this. Where's your mind? You're talking real fast. <laughs> Am I talking fast? There's a plug in here. Yeah. It's plugged it, right it, now. It, come, it, it comes. Or is it open right now? No, it's plugged. Okay. You look in there. See that? All right. So you would bang this out with a hammer. Oh, yeah, I gotcha. Okay, you've seen me do it before. Yeah, yeah. Hook up your drain connection and you're off. You don't raise it. See these three ears? One, two, and three. Yeah. They slide up. Boom. Quarter turn onto the basket strainer. Under here, watch this. So, you just find a happy spot, get comfortable, and hold it with one hand, and just slide her around. Alright, make sure all three are started. They are. And then snug her up. Not super tight yet, I can still move this around a little bit. And we're gonna set this up so we can set up the trap, which is gonna be easy for us. We're gonna bring a T up here, tie into the copper here, trap this, and then trap this new basket strainer too, all right? So basically the disposal is done, and we're gonna get this basket strainer off, all right? So this is it, man. That's it, disposal installed. Let me see a screwdriver truck. Four and one's good. Oh, I use this now. I use the wrench. Alright. You have another four and one? Somewhere. You ever have the a James special? Huh? The Eager special? This is the Eager special. If your disposal is jammed and you're in a jam, you have a little wrench like so, or an Allen wrench. There's a bolt here, dead center. That is your drum inside. So this, I'm actually turning the whole drum. A lot of times you can clear a disposal by just loosening that. And you're off to the races. Who's having fun? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna cut the chrome right here. I could on sweat. Do we want to do that? We don't want to burn nothing. Yeah. Torch. I'm gonna use a clamp right here, yeah. Okay. I could have unsweated this. Oh, but I got you. You're just on a Franco, yeah. But we got good clearance from the drain line. Inch and a half copper. By yourself, as if you use a drum. Let's see if we can get it. Maybe we'll get lucky. If not, last time, remember I had to chisel it? Up in uh, 3417. All right, you ready? Hold back on that. I already broke one of the nuts off up here. You ready? Yeah. Oh, I got it. No Dremel, no Dremel needed. Not yet, hold on. Don't jinx this. See me? That's a good thing, man. All you plumbers out there know we just got lucky. Hold back on that CB. Clean 
that up, okay? Get her done. Other end. There it is. Right down to the cabin. There we go. Nice and flush and flush. Oh. And then we can adapt right to ABS. Start with tiny truck and my tape measure. Okay, sir. We'll make this the height. Boom. Should be in my bag. Okay, we'll call that a 13 and 3 quarter. We won't tie this trap in yet. You know it's a pretty big sink. There's room to work. Yeah, there is room to work. Alright. Alright, I see something here. Oh, well that's crooked as hell. I didn't know that. Ah, Charles. Hold on, I see me. Is that still crooked? So I'm in a firehouse tomorrow, Chuck. Alright. All right. We have a little change of plans here. I want to keep this trap high in the back, or low in the back. It doesn't affect nothing. This way they can... Everything looks straight there? Yes. Yeah? Alright. I'm gonna keep that nice and straight.
Straight chalk. I like that better. I was like, now I can do this. Look, keep this trap. Once I get the tail piece in there, keep that nice and high. This way they can store stuff on this side. Okay. All right, that's why I changed it up. This is why I buy it. You, you understand, right? Yeah. He's your, yeah. your boss. This should be taken right here. Oops. All you plumbers have to know why we buy the good basket strainer. Actually, just hold the bottom a little bit, tighten it on. <laughs> Done. Alright? Three inch tail piece. Yeah. Alright? Cut a four inch piece. And four inch tail piece washer. Give you a ballpark. Looks a little long. Three nine. Seven and a half. do something with this cabinet here because this is the old wooden cabinet and I got more glue. Oh. I see me. What'd you give me, Sean? Three and a half? I, get, I asked for three. Give me a rag. Jesus Christ. 
Christmas. Come on. Can't stand any things with the ears. Oh. You can. Nine percent of the time, for sure. All right. That's that. Oh, I like that a lot. Bang. here. I don't know why. <laughs> you give us some insurance snugs. That might have been a problem. Let her rip, CB. Much better. They got the in sync reader air switch going. Let's see if it works. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got her done. Kitchen faucet installed. Test the disposal. It does have an air switch. We'll test that. Air switch. On, off. What's our famous line? And there goes another satisfied customer.